Welcome everyone. Today I want to show you a quick tip to help you stay organized in your Blackboard course. When you go to Blackboard, I want you to look down this um, column here and I want you to find the calendar link. This calendar might be used differently depending on how your teacher uses the calendar inside of Blackboard, but it will contain um, all of your due dates automatically populated if they're using assignments and they have due dates in it. In this course, I've also added the week numbers and the kind of week that it is, as well as um, the times of our live sessions. So look here, and you're probably going to see more than one calendar there if you're in more than one course. You can just choose which ones you want to subscribe to or not subscribe to. Uh, for this video, I'm just going to choose the one course, and then you can click on Get External Calendar Link. This link right here, you can copy and paste into either uh, Google, if you're using a Google Calendar, or um, Outlook, if you're using an Outlook Calendar, to subscribe to the calendar. So to copy, I'm going to click Control C. As you can see, I've already subscribed to the calendar inside of Outlook. However, I'll show you how I did it. Just click on Open Calendar and then go from internet and then all you have to do is paste the link in here and click on OK and it will uh, import the calendar you can go to advanced mode if you want I don't I just click on yes and then look the calendar is here now it says that it's this Frank guy so I um, went to I right clicked on that and I went to rename calendar and I already have one called Blackboard, but you could just call it like maybe the course code or something. And that's it. So that's how to do it inside of um, Outlook. Now I'll show you how to do it inside of Google. Okay, here I am inside of Google Calendar. All I have to do is click on the plus sign beside other calendars. Go from URL. Same idea. Paste, which is Control V. Uh, and then add calendar. Now when I go back to my calendar, you'll see all of the stuff from that calendar in this calendar. Um, again, it's got this funny name, so if I go to the settings, I can change the name. I'm going to call it Blackboard. And now it's called Blackboard over here, and you can check and, and uncheck the little tick box to display the calendar. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please give it a like and let me know using the comments if you have any questions about the calendar inside of your Blackboard course shell and I'll try and help you figure out the answers. Have a good day.